Hello friends, welcome to NetSet OS. Today we will learn a more about AutoML feature of Google Cloud, in which we will classify images of clouds by using AutoML Vision. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into the system. So let's get started with AutoML Vision. So friends, let's start. So what is an auto, auto ML? So auto ML vision helps developer with limited ML expertise to train high quality image recognition models. So once you upload images to the auto ML UI, you can train a model that will be immediately available on Google cloud for generating predictions via an easy to use REST API. So here, what we will do? Here we will upload images to cloud storage and then use them to train a custom model to, dif to recognize different type of clouds. So, so here what we will do, we will upload images to cloud storage and then use them to train a custom model which can recognize different type of clouds. So here what we will do, we will upload a labeled data set to cloud storage and connect it to auto ML vision using a CSV label file. Secondly, what we will do, we will train a model with auto ML vision and evaluates its accuracy. And the third thing is generating predictions from your trained model. So before moving for forward, we need to enable cloud auto ML vision. So for that purpose, you have to go to API and services from the navigation menu click on library in the search bar just type cloud auto ml and you have to click on enable here so that we can utilize our cloud auto ml api so it will take some time and your auto ml version will get started so it is now enabled so as this API is enabled, now we will move to our next step that is going to cloud chain. If you are new to Google cloud, I will like you to go through my Google cloud series so that you can get an idea what all features Google cloud give and how to create your own account. You will get $300 free when you are creating your first time account. So hurry up and create your own Google Cloud and be a machine learning engineer. So first thing first, we have to config and set our project. So just go to this. You can set your text size according to you. So I am setting it largest so that it will be easy for you to get all those things that I am writing in here. So G Cloud config set project and the project name. Our project name is netsetos-education. It will ask for authorization, click on authorize and we are done. So first what we will do, we will export our project ID because we want to create some buckets based on our project ID. So for that we will type export project underscore ID equals to dollar dev shell underscore project id so what it will do it will assign the project id to our project id variable so the next step we will create a bucket where we can store all our images so for that purpose we will run command gsutil so these commands are very helpful if you want to have a command on gcp clouds so learn about these commands gsutil and I will be making a video on these commands as many people are asking me how to copy data in buckets and other related stuffs. So the command for making a bucket is gsutil mb hyphen p and the project id variable that we will use is dollar project underscore id. We will use standard and location will be us central one 
and we have to give the bucket name which we can give as gs colon backslash backslash and project underscore id hyphen vcm so in this way we will be able to create a bucket like this it will be different for you suppose if your project name is my first project so the bucket name will be gs colon backslash backslash then my first project hyphen vcm so this bucket name will be different for every user so let's see where this command has created the bucket so for that purpose you have to go to navigation button and you have to click on storage so this command whatever we have run here is yes util mb hyphen p project id hyphen c central one cent standard hyphen l us central one and so this command has created one bucket over here so the next thing is exporting the bucket name so we will export a variable bucket and what is our bucket name our bucket name is yes you got it correct that is dollar project underscore id hyphen vcm so what is the next step so next step so first step is we have to collect the data and for collecting the data we have created one bucket in our google cloud storage and next step is we have to copy data for the images you can do it by downloading various images in google itself or it's better to use google images as it is a pre-trained model google has provided us all these images which is there in its standard bucket so i will give you all the details from where i am copying all these images so now start with copying the images from the google storage that is provided by google itself and the location is auto ml hyphen code lab hyphen clouds so just be very patient here so the command for copying is gs util hyphen m is for multi-threaded so if there are many files what it will do it will copy all those files in parallel mode cp is for copying the files and hyphen r is for recursively calling the files like whatever files inside the folder also will get copied and from where we are copying i already told you that google has already given us all these images in a labeled way otherwise you have to go and label it by yourself which is a very tedious process but definitely i will also tell you how all those things works because when you will create your own project then you have to do all those things by yourself only so the files are located at auto ml hyphen code lab hyphen clouds we will say all the files we will copy that's why we have put one forward slash and then a star and where we will load all these files it will copy all the files from auto ml code lab clouds to our own bucket that is dollar bucket so as you can see all these files have been copied from the google storage to our own storage location and now we can see three folders cyrus cumulomen nim and cumulus so these are the three type of images that we have got from google cloud so and let's see how these files looks like so as you have seen there are many files that are downloaded so let's just see one example so this is one type of cloud this is like cyrus type of cloud and we have like given many examples let's see some more examples oh this is also cyrus so what we have done we have loaded different type of files in folder wise so cumulonim so this is another type of cloud that is known as cumulonimbus so now you understand what we have done so we have created what we have done we have copied all those files and we have put it in different folder and so this is cumulus type of clouds so now the first part is done we are able to gather our data but how to train it so the next step is creating a data set so how can we create a data set 
Now we need a way for Auto ML Vision to access it. We have data and cloud storage. So what we will do, we will create a CSV file where each row contains a URL to a training image and the associated label for that image. This CSV file has been created for you and you just need to update it with your bucket name. So we have already or Google has already provided us this CSV file. So why not copy it and see how it looks like. So all so just wait for some time. All those things will be clear to you. Don't try to hurry up like whether we are able to get all those things or not correct. But I will guarantee you at the end you will get all those things correctly and everything will be placed at its own place. So GS util CP GS and colon colon. So the file is located at auto ML hyphen code lab hyphen metadata then data dot CSV and then a single. Our file is look is being copied to current directory location. So we can got it by using it here. So now what we will do, we will do some operations so that we will clean this data file. So for that purpose, I will update the CSV file and for that what I will use, I will use SED command SED hyphen I hyphen E. I will just say S hyphen placeholder dollar then two braces for the bucket variable. So what it will do, it will replace every line with our bucket name. So just don't worry, I will provide you with all these commands in the description itself. So what here I am doing, I am just updating the data.csv with my bucket name, bucket name itself. So now once the file is updated, what I will do, I will upload this file to our bucket. So for uploading it, what is the command? You already know it, gsutil cp data.csv and where we want to load it, gs colon forward slash forward slash and then so as you can see here we might have got our data.csv here so I will just reload this page so here we got our data.csv just we will share how it looks like so here you see we have all the details side right? this file is already located here and the label is serious similarly we have loaded here and we have just said that it is Kumo Lonnie bus and we have given all the file locations and the name of the cloud type. So all this data will be used for training our model. So now majority of our exploratory data analysis is done. So we have all the data here in our cloud storage. So if you go back to storage here you can see we have all the clouds related to Cyrus, Cumulonim and Cumulus and we have a data.csv we have given the location of the file and the label which we are expecting. So all these data will be helpful in training our model. So now let's do main part. Now let's move to our main part that is go to AutoML so vision and we will go to data sets here. And here what we will do, we will click on new data set and we will name it as clouds and we will use single label classification model here. We will click on create data set and here what we will use select a CSV on cloud storage. We will click on it and we will browse to the location where have. we have created our own data.csv so I will click on continue it will take around two to five minutes for your images to import once the import has completed so it will contain all the images so after waiting for some time we are able to get all our images in our in our data set 
so we can filter you can see all these are serious images and if you want to get filtered also these are serious images these are all cumulonimbus images and these are cumulus images so if you are building a production model you would want at least 100 images per level to ensure high accuracy so this is just a demo so we have used only 20 images and that is more than enough so suppose if you think some images have been wrong wrongly labeled you can just click on the image and you can just change it whichever type you want it to be to see the summary of how many images you have for each label click on the label strips so here you will get all those things so there are 20 images we are using 16 images for training two images for validation and two images for testing so here you got all these information in label states. So now the main part comes to train your model. Click on train tab and click on start training. And here you can use cloud hosted or edge model. So for now you can use cloud model and the next thing you can set your budget also. So we will set it to eight and you can choose it at your own at your own also but for our model we will just use 8 so we will click on start training it will take around 20 to 25 minutes and we will be back when the training is done as we can see our model is now trained and we are ready to evaluate it so the average precision that we might got is 0.94 so we will move back to our evaluate tab now we have done import we have images we have trained it and, and now the final thing is evaluation so here you will see the information related to recall and precision if you see this is the precision and this is the recall that we are experience so precision is around 83.3 and recall is also around 83.33 percentage we have also our own confusion matrix so for cumulus for cumulonimus and cyrus so it is 50 percent 50 percent for cyrus and you can deep dive into these things also so the next and final step is use test and use so for that we have to click on deploy model so it will also take some time and the model will be deployed and will be ready to use so after some time as you can see our model is deployed so why not test it so i will click on upload images and i will go to my so i will just give my there are two test files that i will provide you the link also so don't worry about this i will just go here and it has predicted as serious image and we already know that this is a serious image only so now click on another image and as we can see this is cumulus cloud and let's see what it has predicted oh it has predicted correctly only so we know that our model is trained very well and it can definitely identify between various type of clouds so friends i think you got idea how we can use auto ml to make our machine learning projects very easy and believe me if you also do not have any background related to machine learning or even data engineering this thing is very simple you have to just go collect the data and then you have to just train the data and then everything in the back end will be done by auto ml that's why google is famous for google is famous for its machine learning capabilities only so believe me, we have used it in many production projects also and the and the performance and the prediction accuracy is very good as you have already seen it. So guys, please like and subscribe our channel. Take care. Bye bye.